Sir Reginald. That's my name it is. I am a miner. In fact, I am one of the best miners. My whole life, I mined away at coal and iron and all kinds of other materials. I loved to do my work, and it was hard work at that. We didn't have a lot back at home. Our house was modest, and our clothing was minimal. We ate mostly bread we baked, and potatoes we grew. I loved my family, but I wanted better for them, so I was looking for diamonds to pay the bills. I worked day in and day out of the mines. I rarely came back before they were in bed, and it was really hard not being able to see my wife, but I was doing this for them. And oftentimes I would head into the mine at sunrise and left after sunset, but to no avail. I never found any diamonds. The day was no different. I was searching the caves all day and my eyes were growing tired. But as I was turning to leave, I saw something glint out of the corner of my eye. It was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. And it was the answer to all of my prayers. A glittering, glowing, shining, gorgeous diamond. I grabbed it and made my way out of the cave, practically skipping down the road to our house. When I got there, I opened the door. I did it. We're going to be rich. I exclaimed, but there was no answer. I noticed a book with a pen next to it on the table. I opened it and read, Reginald. I love you. But you're never here, and I fear you have an addiction to this constant gamble of whether or not you'll find diamonds in these caves. Please, when you are better and no longer sick in the head, you can find me at your brother's. I've been seeing him for the last two weeks, and it's he makes time, time for me. me. Goodbye. Only she knew what I was working for. Thank you guys so much for watching this short story Minecraft roleplay. I'll see you guys in the next one. You're awesome. Bye bye.